The Nigerian exchange opens the market Monday, the first trading day of the week, on a bullish note by 0.29% to close at 53,157.83 basis point. And now, the also, the market on Tuesday went negative as the all share index depreciated by 0.12% to close at uh, 54,299.76. Then if you also look at the all share index on Wednesday, uh, he went, it went positive by 0.23%, uh, closing above 54,000 psychological mark there, while you have the year-to-date returning to around 5.48% in the week. Well, on Thursday, you also have the market, um, you know, going the same, uh, the south, south direction now with about 0.12%. And then when you look at the market capitalization as well, uh, declining by about 36 billion Naira uh, on that uh, particular uh, Thursday. But look at uh, today, the market, of course, uh, closed on Friday on a bearish note by 0.1%, closing uh, at 54,327.30 basis point. Well, I think uh, on that note, that's where we, we kick our conversation from on the program uh, this uh, weekend. But Ambrose, thank you for joining us. Ah, thanks for having me. And uh, as usual, so where do, you, where do we start from? I'm sure you, it, the market was a little bit uh, uh, mixed in the week. But of course, the bull, probably, I mean, uh, eventually dominated the, the market. Actually, I would say that the market is, uh, you know, is uh, kind of uh, side trending or ranging, and there's a lot of what profit taken from, you know, the previous uh, gain made in the market, and it's mm. expected. And uh, for all this, for the market making uh, almost a uh, you know, six week up, you know, slowing down this week for me is mm. not uh, something bad. Well, market is just flat. If I say that language, the market is flat. Also, we saw improved volume for the week, and at the same time, as we are entering closer and closer to see. Those big names, the big, uh, you know, cap stock releasing their their results. Yes, MTN mm -hmm. have started stacking with uh, a good number. We saw the one that came from Geregu. These are you no know, audited account that we've seen so far. But I believe that by next week, seeing more of the account, it will change the face of the market. But this week, I will present opportunity for those you no know, really income investor mm -hmm. traders. Might be so let's wait and see. But for those you know, income investor, when you see a, a stock correcting or market correcting in this kind of environment, where we are already at the peak of the NSA, which I always say, it tells you that those companies that are yet to release the result, also even those that have released their unaudited, you have seen their performance, you know, giving you an insight to what's likely to happen at the end of the day. This is time for you to take position. That's why when I saw the market, you know, side trending, I was happy. I say, good. But the good is that market have broken out the last you no know, resistant level of uh, you know, 54,290 uh, now above it. That means that 200, uh, you know, uh, uh, 54,290 now become the support level now. For mm -hmm. the market, for me, it's a good one. That is, the market is very, very strong. And also, if you look at momentum, I think that if you are you know, in this market, look at where the price is going. Look at the force that is behind you know, the movement. The force is still very, very strong. For that, no one should panic. Yes, we're coming closer to the, the election, but I'll tell you that it's coincident that this election period, and it's time. I, I'm just eager to know where the force is coming from. Um, I mean, I, of course, we, we all know that each time we expect, um, you know, the financial report of companies you know releasing their uh, report into the market that becomes like a catalyst or a booster <laughs> or, or some sort yeah. uh, but I, are you referring to that alone or are there other supports psychologically that uh, yeah, no. pu yeah. pulling the market upward the good thing is that any any season anywhere in the world is the time you see kind of a, a new energy in the market you know yes. because of what numbers are coming investors are being rewarded for what for their mm. faith or their confidence in the the companies for that, you want to partake in that uh, cake, you know, it's the that they are sharing for shareholders, and you want to be part of it, you need to invest in that company. And at the same time, what is happening again is that if you look at the the recent uh, disconnection between the NPR yes. and, and the, what is happening in the you know, uh, trading market, as we speak now, is that there's a disconnection. If that continues, mm. then it means that it's the public, which was the, the private sector, who suffer from the interest hike. Because if for investors who are seeing that, no, as you no know, rate is growing up in terms of NPR, right. why the um, Treasury B price is uh, you know in rate or heat is coming down? It's dropping. Tells that the government is not ready to borrow at a high cost because already mm. they have um, you no know, huge uh, uh, cost to to, uh, to finance or to manage the debt have already. It has a strategy for them not to borrow at a high cost. Then that's why they are bringing. For example, the good is that there is still liquidity even at this low rate. We are seeing that they have been oversubscribed. Tells that these funds are going to find 
somewhere. If oversubscription, that means the remaining funds you move to somewhere. And I believe that equity market is where they should be resting now because mm. in the equity market, you no, know, the average you no know, dividend yield for the market has been between five to you no know, five to six percent yield for. The, that means if for a whole ninety-one days, I was expected to see zero point one percent from the treasury bill you know, for one eighty-two days. I always say you no know, uh, zero point three, and for a whole year two point mm. two four. I think in equity market you can get four percent, six percent, eight percent. You know, for all those high caps, we're saying that the yeah, dividend is low. It's around four percent to five percent for me. You know, that means this is where funds will be going. Anyway, for now, we see from but also if you look at what we call you know um, money flow index and right. analysis, it's still up. I know around the 80, 80, 82, 83. Say that phone is still entering. That I means this strong form is also coming from those that I think range of what this uh, correction was saw this week now to but ahead of what next week because early, early next week or late next week we just in the news that what we call early filers who start using their work right they are full year result audited and corporate action that also you know change the face of the market that's why as we're coming closer to the election mm. we're hoping that we'll get it right this time and once we get it right again you know a you know a what we say a winner is declared at the end of the day that will be another boost for the market but it might not be you know at, at kind of a uh, expecting the financial to start jumping but what they say that we've gotten is right for from the election. Mm. That means what we reset the economy already. What the CPN is doing to the weather, there is a hiccup here and they're fine. We know that it's not easy, but that's another major step to kind of reset the economy if right. they get it right. I believe that once we get our next one right again, I see that a whole thing come for us to put now, the now, now, in now, the right direction. Let me just quickly come in. I, I know you talked about the fact that um, the it's a bit of uh, migration of funds from yeah. the uh, fixed income from, market or the debt yeah, market yeah. into the equities market. Now, uh, and perhaps maybe because of the body language of the government, n like you said, not to so borrow more. But again, if you look at the flip the other way, the body language suggests that the government will still have to borrow. So uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm wondering how long will this last? Because it, it probably may not last because there is deficit to fund, um, to finance. I mean, the government also has a huge deficit to, to cover. So how do you think they will cover this gap without borrowing? No, naturally, if you look at the deficit budget we have already, mm. it shows that we're going to borrow. Yes. And for the, the, this particular budget, we're already in debt. And you know, high cost of serving that debt is high. Mm. This one coming again to borrow is addition. I know that with the uh, recent uh, downgrade, uh, downgrade we had from uh, Mundi yes. and the uh, no S&P, we can't rush to uh, approach any no international for borrowing because mm. most of that which we're going to pay from our nose. If you want to look uh, inward, but for investors that are in the equity market, for this short time, I can take advantage mm. of what is happening in the market. I could just say, uh, might flip to the next time, but for five quarters of the time, we have seen rate in the in the in the treasury market decline for good you know for uh, good or five option for me. Mm. You know it's, it's signal something but as you just said I believe that yes because you want to borrow you might go to board also that to be stylish because one mm. if you are borrowing and you're able to service a problem and also and confidence the, and the reason why I ask that question is because since uh, they may not even go just because of what you said since they are not going international to borrow this time they might not they might want to make use of approach the local market and of course which is the, the capital market is there for them to, uh, like the treasury views and all of that using those instruments to, to, to borrow locally uh, and that again it's more like the government playing the major role I mean I mean you know we are all aware that okay the government is the major player in the debt market yeah uh, well actually if Look at this way. You now this government has less than four months to leave this. Yes. This uh, you know, and we don't have to go. But one thing is that if what we are hearing from all the candidates that are you no know, uh, contesting for for presidency, they have yes. uh, they have an idea how to mm. reward. I don't believe that at the company office is start boring. You need to come with my plan what to do. Mm. You no, know, some are saying that oh, some assets will go, and that's the way to some are saying not only rushing to borrow is the is to solve the problem. Which assets is more important that will not benefit from as a federal government? Those mm. assets should be given to what disposed to of. give it to the private sector to make effective of it and we'll make money there. This mm. time we can you know, we can change from somewhere. So, so I'm there, someone said about uh, the, um, ten billion dollar. Do you know what the ten billion dollar mean in Nigeria? That's about almost eight to you no know, trillion so for me. That's a big money if it comes and start changing you know, investing mm. in different that was so but I believe that the incoming government should sit up really because we need to put Nigeria right in terms of economic set and also politically we need to reform a lot of restructures will come so that we start to manage our resources where we need to block we need to block more where we don't need their money there we need to know i believe that this election and also the world cbn is doing is really not gradually there but it's not because of the the way people are you know, shouting you know, because of you want to take it on to, to political thing but ideally the move from federal bank is a plus for the economy if we get it mm -hmm. right and but i believe that already we have seen sign of it i tell you, you can't check the way you know dollar has moved for this way right. so these days uh, be a bit stable and also because money to buy the dollar is mm -hmm. not that i think i have to put it. i believe that 
one way or the other, this is a good policy for Agri between now and before the right. before the election. And if CBN can just you know, some other courage for me, I just say there, release money to the public. We have, mm -hmm. we have collected money from them. Actually, actually there is crisis of fund. Release money to them, let them have fun. Then by 15th or, you know, 15th or next week, when it's people you know, able to put it, then to wear the, the deadline and all stuff, right. people are starting to have nothing to Before mm -hmm. the election, it will, they will ease in the economy. Before you see things start changing. Okay. Let, let's wrap it up on the, you know, the activities in the market the, this week. Um, yes, of course, the market closed negative by 0 0.1% uh, earlier today. And, and I mean, so is that a good footing? Um, how do you see into next week? What is likely to happen? Um, is it a good sign of what is going to come on? Uh, the market is going to build on this. Perhaps this may mark the beginning of the, the bearish, tr uh, uh, you know, uh, trend <laughs> that it's likely expected in the market. I no, mean, by investors. Uh, naturally, once yeah. we are coming closer to the election, either a week to the election or yes. two weeks, and then a week later, we might see a cautious trading you now in the market. But I think for those that are dividend investors, income investors, not like cautious trading. Because mm. you know that this election will come, even though that will get Nigeria will still be in Nigeria. What do you do for your dividend? It's personal like me, people like me that I want to trade. We mm. need a sentiment, positive sentiment. We need some, you know, push right. in the market. We slow down, say okay. Mm. But if I see a that pull back, it's not for you to jump to that. So I know that yeah. really after the election, we get it right. We'll have a what we call post election rally that will come. For me, I feel that next week was will, will shape the why. But we expect to see macroeconomic data, some of uh, the consumer price index for the month of uh, January. Mm. Also, we expect to see you no know, stock like uh, you know. Your cap, no, the United Capital, the no, Nigeria Brewing, no, some, no, Dan Cotisment, Zenith Bank, Access Bank to start releasing their hotel account. If this number hit the market, I right. tell you, it will, it will, it will put energy it's in the market. Plus. Yeah, it will be energy. Plus. For me, mm -hmm. I believe that for those that are fearful, will be you know, standing on the, on, on the, on the side view. But we that are really, you know, that's, we just work, we take advantage of this thing. That's why, as investor or trader, you don't wait to see the results. We were pushing earlier ahead of these numbers. When it comes, the uh, market reacts to it. And I mm -hmm. believe that because of liquidity, we are saying, Right. You know, excess liquidity in the financial market. Right. They say, oh, well, you're going to go down to equity space. <laughs>